of guilt. Now we are waiting to see what the juvenile justice system recommends as a punishment. What was on the table? Nine months probation. I want to go to great criminal defense attorney Jeff Gold back with us. All right, Jeff, it could go up from there, right? That probation seems more on the minimum side because maybe these kids are first time offenders, no prior arrests, right? Well, that's right. And remember, they're charged with juvenile delinquency by acts which, if committed by an adult, would be battery. But it's a different system in juvenile. In fact, in juvenile court, there still is a theory of rehabilitation, which most adult courts have thrown out the window. Uh, if you saw this beating by adults, they might be getting prison time for it, certainly with the publicity that the case got. Nine months probation, though, is extremely light, in my opinion. I, you know, maybe probation, but nine months, I think that is very light, Mike. Yeah, you know, I'm looking at some notes, some past notes that the Juvenile Justice Department had recommended, and we mentioned that the nine months plus some anger management. Uh, you know, to your point, I think a lot of people agree that when you watch the beating, that's yeah. just not enough. You're not talking about ruining the lives of 15 year olds right. here, but you want to send a stronger message than nine months probation. What goes into a decision here, Jeff, from the ju for the judge? What well, certain, certainly the first thing is their age. The second thing would be their record. Uh, and uh, then the circumstances of the particular offense. So, yes, they're juveniles, but they're not the youngest of juveniles. They're 15. I mean, sometimes kids go at, at 10 or 11 in juvenile court. And then on top of it, you have uh, the fact no record. Okay. But the, the type of violence involved where there are a pack of, uh, of kids attacking and attacking and attacking, I think they need a lot more than nine months to make sure, just to make Make sure that they're not going to have uh, offenses again. I mean, perhaps we don't know everything. Their family histories might be good. They might be spotless in school. There might be a lot of reasons why nine months, but it just seems I'd like to have them watched over. If not in jail, I'd like to have them watched over. And it would be likely that in a case like this with a broken hand, they wouldn't go to uh, jail. But nine months, that's very light. Well, we'll see. We're, we're going to head back into that courtroom. Juvenile justice system making their here and you can see it that 13 year old hit and kick 29 times ends up with a broken hand as well what will be the punishment back with us criminal defense attorney jeff gold and we were talking about some of the different possibilities and some of the factors that go into a decision like this and again nine months probation that is what was on the board plus maybe anger management that could go up or become more severe what is the other end of this Jeff, when, you, when we're talking about 15-year-olds here, what could happen at the uh, most severe end of things? Well, I mean, it, it, with an offense like this, what could happen, especially with a record and some other things in the case, you could put them in uh, a juvenile detention, in a, in a jail, in a prison. You know, but I look at the difference between the systems. We remember uh, Josh Young and uh, his father uh, just recently where the father dimed out his own son because being a criminal, I think, he knew his son would get this very light treatment in juvenile court and then when the state decided to indict uh, the son and now make it the same 30 years that you would get as an adult now dad decided to take the heat so there's a whole difference mm. and anybody in the system knows that that uh, when you're in juvenile court you're going to get a very different treatment so these kids could go to prison but it would be unlikely if you're young enough which is 15 is if you don't have a record and if the injury is not life-threatening which a, bro a broken hand uh, isn't so those kinds of things go into it. I think that the idea that it's only nine months of watching them, nine months of probation, that seems incredibly light to me. I think a couple years at very least, even three until they're 18, 18 years old, of watching these kids is in order. Got it. Okay, well, the Juvenile Justice Department making their recommendation to the judge. So let's head back into that Florida courtroom and listen in.